Hello, Pioneers. We have a busy week this week. Don't forget that tomorrow is Walk to School Day. Friday is an early release day, and we are starting something new on Friday called Club Day. Miss Lehman will explain more in a bit. We will also hear from Mr. Unger about citizenship when we go to Mr. Unger's Ultimate Utopia. Then we will get to see a second grade student using strategies to help him with a writing piece. But let's start with seeing some students with their hats from last week that they bought to wear on hat day, and then some pictures from a field trip to the pumpkin patch. Well, hello, Pioneers. Thanks for tuning in to Mr. Unger's Ultimate Utopia. For the month of October, I wanted to let you guys all know we are focusing on citizenship. What does it mean to be a good citizen? You know, I've been doing a little research myself on this topic, and I found some great stories here or that highlight good citizenship. Let me read this from a student. It says here, to be a good citizen anywhere, you need to be a good person. That means showing respect, having a good attitude, and helping out. In the classroom, you can show responsibility by doing your homework, listening and following directions, and helping out other classmates. Another example is in your community. Don't just throw your trash on the street, but find a trash can and use it. Make sure you're not bothering people when you're playing in the park. And when you're at home, do your jobs, do your chores, and listen to your family, listen to your parents. Don't think that just because you're at home, you can break the rules. Rules apply everywhere. Good example. Here, this student says, I think something I could do to be a good citizen is to help elderly people out. If somebody needs help crossing the street, I could help them. Another thing I could do to be a good citizen is to visit veterans and cheer them up and keep their spirits high. In the classroom, if my teacher asked me to run an errand, I could happily do that for her, maybe giving a message to another teacher. I could help clean up supplies or clean up the classroom at the end of the day. And at home, I could be a good citizen by helping my mom. If my dad's doing yard work, I could help him because it would get done faster. These are some ways to be a good citizen. Those are great examples of what it means to be a good citizen by helping out in school, by being a good community member, and helping out at home as well. Being a good citizen means we all work together for a common good. This month we're going to be highlighting kids who are being good citizens, who work to make our school and our community a better place to live, to learn, so uh, let's go out there now and see if we can find some good citizens. Come on.
As you see, we have many good citizens here, making our school a better place and our community a better place. When we all work together, we can do much, much more. This month, what I'd like to do is have a little competition. If you're in kindergarten, first or second grade, I'd love to see a picture of what being a good citizen means to you, whether it's helping out in your community, at home or in school. And if you're in grades three, four or five, I'd like to know what community means to you, what citizenship means to you. Write me an essay similar to the ones that these students wrote and let me know in your words, what does it mean to be a good citizen? Then at the end of the month, if I choose your picture or choose your uh, article, you can choose between going to Subway or going to Texas Roadhouse. We're going to be giving away one of these per grade level to the students that show us what does good citizenship mean. All you have to do is draw me the picture if you're in K1 or 2 or send me your article in grades 3, 4, or 5. If you do that, I'll have some baskets here in the office. You just have to drop it off. Be sure you put your name on it and probably your teacher's name too. That way I can know who I'm picking and where to come and get you if you win the prize. This month is about citizenship. Let's all make this school a better place, this community a better place by going out there and being good citizens. Thanks for tuning in to my Pioneer Report. Thank you, Mr. Unger. Those are great examples of citizenship. Our students do a great job with that. Good morning, Fort Howard students. We have a really cool and exciting opportunity coming your way. We are going to be having club hour. That's something new this year because a lot of you talked about wanting to do things that were your interest and what's something cool that you can do at school. So the teachers all talked and they decided let's try to provide an opportunity. So on October 12th, so it's going to be on next Friday or this Friday, from 9.15 to 10.15, each of you had signed up and your teacher talked with you and you all signed up for something that you would be interested in doing or that you wanted to try to do. So your teachers put it all on a list, we compiled the list, and some of your choices were cooking, sports, painting, bracelet making, STEM activities, nail polish. So this will be an activity that a group of you are going to go to. We have a huge group, 54 of you I think wanted to do cooking. So we have you set up and assigned to go there and you will be doing an activity. Now. Here's what I need to ask from you, is that you're going to be doing expected behaviors because you won't have your classroom teacher, most of you. Most of you are going to have someone who you may not ever have had as a teacher, but we're asking that you still are doing the kindness, you're still following what's expected behaviors. The reason we're doing this is also to talk about seeing what are things that you're interested in, getting you to be able to kind of follow directions, being able to work in groups and get to know some other people and also develop some new skills that might help you in this area. Now, some might say, do I have to do this all the time? Or maybe you get here and you decide, eh, I don't really like it and that's not what I want to do. Well, when we do our next one, which will be in November, I think it's November 16th, you will have the option to change. So when you go, we are going to have it made that you're each going to get a name tag and it's going to say what room you're going to go to and that's where you will go between for 9.15 to 10.15. You will need to stay there even if it's something that you decided, oh, I didn't really like. It's something you committed to, so you're going to stay there for that hour period of time. At the end, whoever's your, um, in charge, the adult that's there is going to now ask you, is this something that you want to continue with in November? Or is it something you're going to want to try a different type of activity? And then you'll share that and then we will be able to look from there. But again, this is something that's special and different. You need to be showing expected behaviors and we want you to be able to enjoy some things and develop some interests that are there. So please make sure we are following expectations, we're on our best behavior, and I can't wait to see it here about how October 12th from 9.15 to 10.15 in your club hour happens to go. Hopefully you have fun. Thank you, Miss Lehman. You ended up writing a story, right? 
Okay. Now, what I, can you explain to me how this folder helped you and what you had to do first before you could write? Can you tell me about the folder? First, I had to. What kind of story were you writing? Mo football. First, I had to. What genre is it? What were you writing? You were writing about a. Football game. A football game? Was it a recount? Was it a narrative? A recount? Okay. So you don't First have to I had to um, spell Doho, which is Jameson, Mr. Unger, Andy, Dustin, and Liam. Okay, so what were these things that are on here? That's who, that's where, that's when. Okay. Where at school at recess. On Tuesday, on sunny. One, one sunny Tuesday. Okay, perfect. First, I'll go to the beginning. On Tuesday at school, at recess, I played football with my friends because football is fun to me. Event one. First, I play football with Leandro, Mr. Unger, Andy, and Dustin, and Jameson. Next, Mr. Unger threw the ball to me. Then I caught it when he threw it to me. And you put next on there. Why did you put next on there? Because. Because it, it happened after you did the first one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Even three. After that, I threw the ball to Grimsy. Event four. Next, we went inside to eat lunch in the lunchroom. Conclusion. I felt happy because we won at the end. Okay, so then you did all of that. Then what did you have? I went in the end. Oh, okay. Then what did you need to do after you finished all of this stuff? Make, make a story about it. Then you made a story? How did you use these things to help you write your story? Recounts. Recounted? I recounted it. Okay, so um, can you Tuesday read when you put it together? At okay. school, at uh, recess, I played football with my friends because football was fun to us. First, we started the game. Next, the strongest threw the ball to me. I caught it when he threw it to me. Then, I, after that, I threw the ball to Jameson. Next, we went inside to the lunch in the lunchroom. I felt happy because we won the game. After lunch, we went upstairs to learn new math games. Then, we went to a PE. By the way, we went home. So how did you feel after you did all this and you wrote, how many pages did you write? Two. Two. How did you feel after you wrote all that? Really good. Good? Happy. Happy? Are you proud of yourself? Yeah. Awesome job. Thank you very much, buddy. And thank you, Akari. Those are great strategies.